Hello, beautiful, beautiful black people. Hope that all is well in your world. And and this day, and this day, and this day has progressed very, very well for you and all of your wonderful, wonderful love mate. All of your wonderful, wonderful loved ones. All of your wonderful, wonderful, intelligent black loved ones. My beautiful intelligent black brothers and sisters. Too many black too many black folks and <clears throat> almost all white folks. Too many black folks and almost all white folks are afraid of the truth. Too many people in general are afraid of the truth. Do you ever notice and listen to the mass media, the white racist control mass media? They are afraid to tell the whole truth. They will tell us half truths. They will give us <clears throat> innuendos. They will omit truths and tell us half-truths. For example, when Trump and any white Republican or any white person say something that is definitely racist and a display an indication of their racism? Defining them, exposing them as a racist. The racist white control mass media will replace racism, the word race, racism, with a racially charged term. Half-truths. Bullshit is what it is. Too many, too many black folks and almost all white folks are afraid of the truth. Listen to politicians especially those white Republican politicians. They're not telling us the truth. They're giving us lies, half-truths, in your windows, omitting real truths. Too many, too many, Black folks and almost all white folks are, are afraid of the truth. Look how Bill Barr said a few days ago that voting by mail creates the conditions for fraud to happen. Trying to taint an excellent method, conduit, for, for voting safely in the midst of a pandemic. Bill Barr, Trump, the Republican Party, and all of those racist white enablers of Trump will give us lies, half-truths about voting via the postal system. Do you know the postal system is one of the old, the old one of the oldest agencies? in our federal government. It has been emulated, 
Cop It, Cop It by thriving democracies across the globe. But the Republican Party, the GOP, idiot white boy Trump, and all of those morons that are his lackeys want to destroy the United States Postal Service. The FBI will not give us the truth. They will give us lies. Do you know the FBI has been on a mission since the inception of the FBI to destroy black folks, especially those black folks that gather power and influence, like Malcolm X, Dr. MLK Jr., Mega Eggers, Stokely Carmichael, Huey P. Newton, Fred Hampton, the FBI were complicit in murdering all of those black folks, every one of them. Too many black folks and almost all white folks are afraid of the truth. They are afraid of telling the truth. Hence is why they remain silent regarding all of the injustices that are occurring all around them. The military in the era of Trump have fallen in line and become an enabler of Trump, keeping secrets from the American people lying to the American people. Look how General Milley got in front of a microphone and a camera and said he did not know where he was going when he followed Trump into onto Lafayette Square in Washington, D.C., to do a photo op with the Bible. Too many black folks and almost all white folks are afraid of the truth. They don't want to hear the truth and they certainly don't want to tell the true story. Social media is afraid of the truth. Facebook, Twitter, even Google, they are afraid of the truth. They have heard more than 20,000 lies told by Trump and his administration has multiplied those lies. But social media, all they do is propagate the lies. They don't correct the lies. They don't check the lies. They don't say this is not true. Too many black folks and almost all white folks are afraid of the truth. They are afraid of telling the truth. And they certainly do not want to hear the truth. They are afraid that they will lose their jobs. They are afraid that they will be tweeted on by Trump. They're afraid that they will be criticized. 
on social media. They are afraid that their names will be mentioned by someone that's offering resistance to the truths that they are espousing. Too many black folks and almost all white folks are afraid of the truth. They are afraid of hearing the truth and they are afraid of telling the truth. My beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. Do you know that all white folks and the operative word is all? All white folks right here on this plantation called America are inherently racist. All white folks are inherently racist. And if they deny it, then that is an indication of their racism. And if they admit it, then certainly that's an indication of their racism. So either way, white folks respond to being inherently racist. Either way they respond is an indication that they are inherently racist, my beautiful intelligent black brothers and sisters. White folks on this plantation called America have have white privilege and they have oppression to use as weapons against black folks. And I will say that again. All white folks on this plantation called America have white privilege and oppression to use against black folks as weapons. All white folks on this plantation called America are programmed to act ACT on black folks negatively. All white folks on this plantation called America are programmed to act on black folks negatively. The poster boy, the poster boy of hurt, H-U-R-T, the poster boy of rejection, and the poster boy of racism, is Trump. Trump is the poster boy of hurt because of his ineptness. He is the poster boy of hurt because of his ineptness. He is the poster boy of rejection because of his ignorance and stupidity. He is the poster boy of racism because of his overt racism. Statements coming out of his mouth 
every day. Policies being created by executive orders every day. Trump is the poster boy. All heroes, all heroes, and John R. Lewis, the civil rights icon, was a hero. Dr. MLK Jr. was a hero. Huey P. Newton was a hero. Malcolm X was a hero. Just to name a few, all heroes have courage. John R. Lewis had courage. He had deniable, he had undeniable courage. John R. Lewis had undeniable courage. He had humility. When a person has humility, it emanates from them in every interaction that you have with them. It goes out as an aura that captures others, drawing others to this very courageous yet feel with humility person. All heroes have respect for themselves, respect for others. All heroes and heroines, all heroes and heroines have respect for themselves and respect for others. All heroes and heroines treat everyone with dignity and respect. All heroes and heroines are courageous. All heroes and heroines have are filled with humility. All heroes and heroines treat everyone with respect and dignity, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. So when these racist white folks espouse, talk about their heroes, in their delusionless minds. Use these use this as a measuring instrument to determine if the person that these racist white folks are calling heroes are really or truly heroes. Were they courageous? Are they filled with humility? Do they have respect for themselves and others? And do they treat everyone with dignity and respect? That is how you measure whether or not one is a hero or a heroine my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. That's all I have on this one.